Sue here again from Sue's Dog Rob Life Garden today. Stroke Polly Tunnel today. Um, so, it is, what day is it? It's the 12th today. It's Monday the 12th of July, 2021. Um, and I'm just gonna, I just wanna show you the new thing we've had installed, which is great. Oh no, I've left my bag outside. Oh, damn it. Oh, actually, we needed to do this because one, it saves me a lot of work for going around watering everything every day, and it takes me about an hour to walk the polytunnel, which is an hour out of my timetable, which I would rather not waste um, watering everything every day or every other day in the polytunnel when, when I can get a water irrigation system installed for not much money really um, and saves me so much time which is the point why we did it so that it would save me a lot of time so I want to show you it and also it's watered everything so this morning I but the only trouble is I've got my bag hanging up here and a couple of pots with stuff in and I have to remember to take them out before I put the sprinkler system on because otherwise everything gets saturated in water but also today I I came in this morning went to do the animals and then come back switched the water system off but then I got sidetracked indoors because my washing machine broke completely broke now but luckily we had a spare one a mealy one um, which we've had with us uh, the last time it was used was 12 years ago and so we took out the industrial washer and we've now put in the mealy and it's great it's wonderful so we've now got a smaller washing machine but it, it washes you can do 30 minute cycles which is amazing because my washer um, didn't do that and so I've been doing washing most of the day and also I was uh, uh, hoover in the house and uh, mopping the floors and doing stuff indoors today and some paperwork this morning that I had to do. I've still got more paperwork to do tomorrow, something very urgent that I need to do tomorrow, a couple of things urgent. It's late afternoon now because it's taken me all day to get outside after doing all the things indoors but I don't have to worry about coming out here to water anything because before I had to get all the I'm still going to feed things, so I'm still going to do like liquid feeds on everything because on the cucumbers and the like this middle bed has got so much stuff in it, I'm going to have to give it some food um, on my um, rhubarb and my red cabbage and all that kind of thing. And then tomatoes eventually will need, oh dear, it looks like I need to string up another, another tomato here. Um, but I've strung up my tomatoes. Oh, I just noticed some leaves looking a bit sad there. Might have to take them off of there. So I'd strung up my... Um, oh, sorry, I'm not looking. I'm looking at the plants in front of me. Sorry about that. I'll just show you the water system first, what we did. And um, ooh, I still haven't put that clematis in, by the way. But I've done other things. Um, but there are a few jobs that I really need to do urgently. In the polytunnel it's a very showery day today it just rained again just then and then stopped again there was a couple of jobs i wanted to do outside but i don't think i want to go outside today i might just try and put some flowers in around the pots um outside but apart from that i don't really want to go outside today i don't want to get soaked i've got to keep changing my coats because this one isn't waterproof so if i want to go outside i've got to go and put a waterproof coat on I just noticed those coleus are really big now. Anyway, let me just turn the camera around and show you what has been happening over the past few days in the polytunnel. Okay, let's try and rush. Anyway, so under here we've got our Brussels sprouts are growing. Uh, yeah, I think we haven't pushed them into the ground hard enough because I was reading about brassicas, watching some videos. And apparently you're supposed to really make sure that they're hard in the ground so that they can form the heads and stuff. So I'm not sure if that's going to happen with these. There's a beautiful little borage. <laughs> the flowers have all come out. So this is a stray seed that I must have dropped 
when I done my borage, but that's the only one I've got. So never mind. Uh, down here, let me check. In here, we've got our cute our um, cauliflower growing. I don't know what's going on with this leaf here. I need to pull this off. It looks like we've been attacked by a, a slug. I'm going to have to look for that, see if I can see it. Anyway, it looks like we should have another little cauliflower growing in there. Look. So we've got this one here. So, right, so that's that. So the asters are all right. I've, I've stopped watering them because they were really saturated. Here are all my seedlings, my plants I put in from outside. And these bulbs I put in here the other day, they're all coming up already. So I put them in there with them. The, uh, oh, I should have put that under the rain because uh, now that feels a bit dry. So I still might have to water that. Didn't quite reach here, the, the uh, spray. So anything that I need water in, really i have to put down here on the floor to make sure that the sprinkler system sprinkles all of those so it seems to have missed the celery so i'll have to get a can of water these are my rosemary plants that i potted on the other day uh, some more celery my melons these need potting on now in here go away in here i've strung up all of these now so yesterday I strung up everything, so that means I've strung up all the morning glory at the back, the melons and the tomatoes in this bed. So I've done that now, so they're all strung up. On the table here we've got the bolt hardy beetroot is starting to germinate, you can see that. This salad here, this red lettuce salad is starting to grow. This broccoli that I only just put in the other day is already starting. Um, these cumin on... I need to like um, put them in the garden somewhere. This rocket is really growing now, so that's good. Uh, this rocket's growing too. And what I'm gonna do is just pot it on and then just use it from the pots. So I'm not gonna put it in the polytunnel this time because the last time I put it in the polytunnel, it went really leggy. So I'm just gonna keep it compact and then cut it when I need it and then let it grow again. A bit like you do with cress. I need to put these purple sprout and broccoli in the garden somewhere they're all growing this flower here is started look at that what beautiful color wow these coleus need potting on i need to take some of these out there's too many in the pot now uh what else do we need to do yeah these need potting on this red cabbage is starting to get a bit leggy here the purslane is fine i might put it on though this watercress Oh yeah, I potted some watercress in there. Uh, the cauliflower here, there's nothing happening yet. The spinach, uh, the carrot parajee, nothing happening yet. These Brussels sprouts definitely need to go in somewhere. Uh, these, uh, what else have we got? The Californian poppies are just starting to come up. The swede is definitely growing. The parsnips, nothing's happening. Look at my rhubarb, it's huge again. And these red cabbage are getting really, really big now. I did feed these. They're starting to really get some heads on them. Oh, yeah, which one did I feel yesterday? One of them is getting a really nice firm head. They're starting to get firm heads. I'm not expecting these to get massive. We have been using a lot of the leaves for Simon's feet and also my leg. Uh, I'll wrap it around my varicose vein and... Uh, see what happens anyway so here's this tomato here needs stringing up again because these parts here are all falling down so we'll do that in a minute uh, I'll show you the water system so here's the water system so it's attached to the tap out here and at the moment we haven't put on the timer thing because we don't need it yet so the timer thing we need to get a battery for it but we don't need it until we go away anyway um, and then we've got like a timer that we can put on here but we're going to get like um, an adapter tap we need like four spurs coming off because we want to have two um, pipes like two uh, hoses one to go around this way and one so that I can water 
the other side of the garden around here. I still haven't weeded all this. This has been done because we done the hose the other day, yesterday. Um, yesterday and Saturday, I think. So Simon put the hose in there and then covered it all up so it's under the ground. And now that means that I can cover up the rest of the hose all around here. But this side of the garden's like a jungle at the moment still. I haven't done this, I haven't had time. I'll show you the front in a minute, what we've done out there. But I have done a lot. <laughs> so we've got our water irrigation system, so it's up here. So it's a sprinkler system, so there's five of these. Um, and you switch them on in the morning for five minutes or so and it sprinkles water to the far reaches all the way over to there. It just misses that corner there, but there's not really much in there. It's just a stinging nettle and I will just water that. Um, and, and also I'm still going to be feeding the red cabbage and the rhubarb and anything else like, and, but it waters everything. So it saves me tons of time. It's oh, and the other day, I don't know if I showed you this bed, but I have I have actually done the strings. I've done these yesterday, so I strung up my peas at the front, my beans, which have grown since yesterday, at the back, the lavateria right at the back, and I even put a string on the um oh that little plant back there and the cucumber melon in the back. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I must concentrate on what I'm doing. I'm looking at what I'm looking at. So these tomatoes, they need to be potted on. These tomatoes here are growing really, really big now. These tomatoes, they're, they're all looking all right. They're just leaning up against the side of the polytunnel. I haven't strung these up because they seem to be all right. But I think I will string them up before they fall over. Um... Yeah, there's the, the peppers and everything in here are doing well. So there's peppers and carrots um, and basil in here. And that all seems to be growing really well. I need to just move the... Oh, all the chicory here is growing well. These French beans are growing well. The sweet peas are huge now. They're nearly at the top of the tunnel now. Oh, we've got a... We've got a um, bolted spinach there, so I better um, take some leaves off that and then pull that one out. I've got more spinach, so I don't matter. All of the these things, the courgettes are growing. I keep picking up the dead flowers off the floor because we don't want to get all manky on the ground here. Sorry, I'm just not looking what I'm doing. So we do have a few courgettes growing. There's one. Uh, there's some there, I don't know if you can see that one. So they are starting to grow now. I'm just hoping some of these ones down here are getting fertilised, I don't know. Anyway, so here's my chickens. These used to be, these used to belong to Simon's parents and they were always on the kitchen in the window sill. Then we had them upstairs in our flat. And then Simon said, oh, why don't you put them in the polytunnel? So here they are. So and because we have chickens, it seems appropriate that we have chickens. Mm -hmm. So there's a male, there's a girl, ooh, and there's a boy. So they're our chickens <laughs> in our polytunnel because they're the only ones allowed in here. The big ones, our, our real chickens, aren't allowed in here. Anyway, our melons are doing well. So there's one there. This one seems to be nibbled a bit. But this is all right, so we've got to put some sticks in there. I might have to move them. Well, actually, I was going to keep them there and put some string on so they can grow up onto this pole. So I might just leave them there. Then we've got two melons in that one as well. I do have some more of these bags, so I need to split up some, some of these tomatoes. We've still got too many tomatoes in one bed. But I was hoping... Um, to be able to harvest this bed this week. These tomatoes are getting huge. So I've got all tomatoes in this middle bed as well. <laughs> I've got tomatoes everywhere. And I keep trying to untangle this sweet pea to not get onto the tomato strings. Yeah, that's fun. But I keep checking them. Every time I see them trying to latch onto the tomatoes 
they keep moving them because the tomatoes got their own string and the sweet peas have got their own string and the beans have got their own string so I'm trying to make sure they all stay on their own strings great fun I'm waiting for all them tomatoes and melons I don't know how that's going to work with all these strings might have to put up extra strings anyway those hanging baskets are still looking good I do go round and deadhead them but I notice these allison might be coming to an end soon so I might be pulling out the allison they're huge now look I might be taking this out it's getting really yellow I have been feeding them I give them a feed every week they have seaweed and then right so this bed here I think might be done soon I have to keep checking the parsnips I swear they're done over here I think these onions might be done because I read I was watching a video that once they start getting heads on like that that means that they're ready so I don't know anyway all these flowers here I've really got to get these in the garden this week as long as it's not raining and the candy that uh, this needs potting on but look we've got aquilegia we've got all sorts in here all oh, these poor poppies here really want to get out of there they're starting to flower so yeah grew so much stuff i'm going to pop these on in these hanging baskets here so i'm going to put these in there so that's going to be happening soon this week i'm going to be changing out these flowers and um, potting on these aubrisha and these pansies we've got some more pansies here that need to get out and um, we've got some oxide daisies that are growing here uh, the candy tuff really needs to get out of that pot it's really not liking it in there now it's trying to grow this is dry this pot see doesn't always get everything the old um water rain and some things are getting really wet so i need to make sure that the ones that are quite dry i'm watering uh, so what else do we need to show you i haven't done anything outside um this weekend apart from we done the water system uh i haven't done any gardening as such outside we were going to do the race we were going to put the hoops over the squash but then we didn't have the clips so because we're going to use the blue pipe for this bed here and we're going to save the metal ones for the bed beds in in the, in the big part of the garden over the, through those trees over the other side there's some sheep in our field <laughs> but the um the garden is over there anyway there's so much to do still so this i started weeding this oh i'll show you what we put in the garden i found all these gold stones and i've just put them in the garden so i had a pot of gold stones so I'll just pop them in there for a minute, well, to make it look pretty. And I took out some of these, um, I took off the Livingston daisies from around this tree. And look what, look what we did. So we put this in instead, because we were going to use a pole, but then Simon thought this bracket. So this wood is, this has been like fixed in with two brackets into the bed. And then this is from our old bird feeder, which completely rusted away, which is down here, by the way, there. I'll go and put it round on the other side. But this is now where my, um, look at this. You can get motors for these, but not, or wind can do it, but I'm just going to show you how it works. So it's an optical illusion, see? See how it works? Hold on, it needs to go. Ready, go. And there it goes. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? So, during the summertime, we're going to have pretties on here. I put the other little thing on here as well. And I also want like a, um, you know, like a wind chime. I just want a wind chime on here as well. I'm going to paint it. We've got some grey paint and then I'm going to paint it gold. I think I've got some spray gold paint or spray silver paint indoors. So we're going to spray that. The wood we'll leave, might just paint it that wood colour that we got on the gate. 
but the bit the top bit I need to sand it down and spray and paint it so I'll be doing that this week and I took out all the Livingston daisies from here and here um, I haven't taken them out of these I wanted to keep one so, so yeah I might keep one of these buckets to collect seeds so one of them I'm going to leave and the other one I'll take them out. I've got loads of flowers to replace these with. So I need to do that. Um, oh, there we go. I think that is a sprouting broccoli there. That must have been one of the ones that I had. Anyway, we'll let it just flower. It's not much use. Don't want one sprouting broccoli. It's not much use, is it? Anyway, so we've got... I don't know what's going on over here. So we've got the coriander that's gone to flower. The mint chocolate mint's gone mental these are still coming out whatever they are uh, these are the asters I think uh, I put all these in here <laughs> oh I think we've got some different colored freesias I think they're freesias I did pick the white one and I put it indoors wow this looks amazing color whatever this is wow this looks like it's gonna be beautiful there's another one coming out here then we got these tall things. See, I just bought a load of bulbs and I've just been putting them in and I've got no idea what most of them are. And that's what all these are. I think these are gladioli, these tall things. I didn't get around to putting all my bulbs in this year, but next year I'll be putting more in because I'm going to put some... Well, I'm going to get more tubs and I'll put more of tubs on this area here, on this concrete, because this bin and all this stuff won't be here then. But I was thinking, because there's some massive lumps of concrete here that we can't really move. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do about them. But if we can't move them, I'm just going to make like a like a little rockery here. Like just make a little rockery, because there's loads of stuff here, look. And these rocks and everything. So I don't know if we can move this. But if we can't move it, we're going to just make it a feature. We'll make it a feature because um, this is just a slab of concrete here but I'll just put some more pots around it and sort of disguise it with some plants that's what I'll do but we won't worry about that now it's really not important what is important is um, tidying this all up I'm getting bitten here by the way I get rid of this bin <laughs> I need to empty this out and I need to tidy this bit up and I need to tidy all that bit up so this week I've got so many things to do I have to pace myself because I've got a long, long list of jobs to do indoors and outdoors, not just out indoors, not just outdoors. I always have jobs to do indoors. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, God. Oh, something nibbling now. All the way up there. What's that? What's that nibbling now? Uh, <laughs> don't know. Oh, oh, and here. Is this birds, you think? See, when I when I actually ever see fruit on these, I haven't seen any fruit on these yet. Nothing. Zero. But hopefully next year they might start getting some flowers on and then I will cover them up. I'm going to cover them up with some netting while they're forming their fruit. Because I do not want to lose them. I need, I need to eat it. I don't want the... Oh, I had to pop that little hosta in there because it was in the corner of there. Oh, I need to take it out again. <laughs> anyway, I haven't quite finished weeding this bit. I was weeding this bit yesterday. I've done the front bit there. But I need to do this bit round here. But I'm not doing it today. It's too wet outside. It's, it's not very nice. I don't like it. Let's go and check on the squash. So this squash here doesn't look very happy. But I'm not really bothered, I'm just going to leave it because I've got plenty more there and 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 there. So if I lose a couple, I'm not really bothered. Um, this one's getting a bit nibbled. Mm, I did put all this stuff on them. They're starting to sprawl quite a lot. I'll try and keep them on the bed. I might just go and get another layer of... Uh, straw. I've got loads of straw. Uh, thanks to my animals, my chickens and my anu. I clean up the bed every day at the moment because of flies at this time of year. 
so the stable gets a bit dirty so I like to sweep it every day so it doesn't look all dirty anyway I think that's all I've got to show you at the moment um, it's very still there's nothing no wind very very still lots of bugs around like on my stones so this bed I I don't really need to weed that one at the moment I think what the most important jobs we've got to do at the moment I don't really want to pot on today uh, one I haven't really got any pots <laughs> Um, I think I've used all my new pots. don't think I've got any left. might need to order some more still. Oh, I need to drink my coffee. Um, oh, yeah, those poor... What are those? Turnip. Oh, they've actually grown since I was... Oh, look, those turnips need potting on. Oh, I think these... No, oh, they're all right. They're quite wet. I think it's just this... The celery here that need a bit of water. They need water. Uh, I know they're still wet. Right, so this week's jobs in the polytunnel are to put on all these things that are getting too big for these pots. We need to put on the tomatoes. That's what we definitely need to do. I still have three of those bags. So I'm going to have to use those. I'm going to use those for some tomatoes. Um, we still have these melons, but what I'm going to do with these is that I might just pot them on into bigger pots and let them grow in there. Then I'll move these ones into these pots. These celery. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I might buy five, five more of those bags and then use those instead of pots. Because they're quite big and they look they they hold the moisture, which is really good. Um, and they're easy to carry around because they've got handles. So I've got two that I'm using at the moment, and the and the uh, melons seem to be liking them. So I think the tomatoes would as well. And I need to sort of tie in my tomatoes. <laughs> oh, big bee! Oh, that was funny yesterday talking about bees. I was standing in this doorway here talking to my other half about the irrigation system when we were putting it in and I touched my head and I picked off a massive bee. It was actually on top of my head. Jumped out of my skin because I didn't know I had a bee on my head and I accidentally... Oh God, that was... I love bees but don't really want them on my head. Anyway, I think we still need to feed our... Our fig, it's getting big, it's getting big, look, it's getting big, these are growing a lot, I can't believe how much those beans have grown at the back, they've gone really, really big, and that was just since yesterday, oh the radish are all coming up now, can you see those that I potted, planted the other day straight into the garden, so those radish are liking it there, these peas are doing well, yeah, I'm, I'm really loving this garden, loving the polytunnel, I absolutely love it. All these things are growing, but i tell you what I really want to do today is see if we've got any turnips, any parsnips. I don't think they're going to be very straight because I was reading, I was watching videos uh, about people trying to um, put on parsnips. So even though they have this massive leafy growth, doesn't mean that they've got really good parsnips underneath. But I really need to clear this bed now, because this is the next bed that I need to clear for the next lot of crops that we're putting in. So this week's jobs are to do the hanging baskets, do this bed, put the flowers in the garden, poor little things, pot on things put on the tomatoes and the melons so that's what we've got to do there's a lot of things to do and yeah i think that's it so i'll show you again shortly if i get round to seeing if i've got any produce okay okay let's go everyone <laughs> i've just gone and taken the parsnips out of the bed because yeah 
yeah there's something to be said for direct sewing into the beds for parsnips I can see the reason why now and also so much leafy growth and very little produce so I'm going to tidy them up and then I'll show you what they look like but they're all niled and I think I've got one straight one so I'm just going to show you what they look like anyway never mind so I'm sort of clearing this bed out now so I've got a load of beetroot in there so I'm going to leave that in there uh, I'm not sure about these carrots if they're doing all right and the leeks I grew too much in one place I'm learning what not to do but it's all learning so what I think I might do with the parsnips because I already got some over there but I think I'm going to direct some into the polytunnel so I'm going to direct sow the parsnips into the bed rather than um, putting them in the modules and then putting them in I'm going to direct sow them so I'm going to do that in this bed again and direct sow parsnips okay so that's what I'm going to do okay so I'll probably do that tomorrow so I'll clear this area so I can get a load of parsnips in Oh, they grow really big by the way they get really really big i would have been preferring to put them outside but i haven't got any outside beds prepared yet so i can't really do that and i have the bed with all the shrubs in but i can't really put them in there with those anyway so we're just gonna uh yeah we're direct sow them anyway no matter where i put them that's what i'm gonna do okay all right bye. <laughs> So I've just been harvesting some beetroot and I took out the parsnips out of this bed. Now I'm blessed with this awful mess over this side, which are leeks and carrots. Right, note to self, <laughs> next year, um, uh, yeah, don't grow so much in one bed, yeah? Because look at the mess, just a jangling mess. And so now I've got to try and sort this out. But I just want you to see my parsnips. They're really funny. Anyway, I've trimmed them up. I've kept some of the tops of the parsnip leaves. They're under here. And I've also done some of the beetroot. So we've got this one and we've got smaller ones. But on the whole, I'm quite happy with those. You know, for a first harvest of beetroot that I've never grown before. My parsnips are something else. I mean, this is the reason why you direct sow them, I think. So anyway, but I've got one straight one, look. One straight parsnip. The rest are all weirdos. <laughs> but anyway, they will... We can eat them anyway, it doesn't really matter. But you don't see these in the shop, do you? The ugliest parsnips in the world. I did get one straight one. So anyway, and there's lots of sort of small ones. I broke one. Look at that one. I broke it when I was digging it up. So really weird. Anyway, like... <laughs> <coughs> so, my next lot of parsnips, I will direct sow into the bed. But look at the stripes on this beetroot. Look how pretty that is. How pretty, pretty stripes i mean you can eat all this so i'm going to make a nice beetroot relish or beetroot soup do not worry i will not be wasting any and i've also got some there under there is some um of the parsnip leaves which i'll be making a soup out of right and the next thing i wanted to do my hair is going mental because i haven't put it up and i washed it last night and it's gone mental in this weather so the next thing i'm going to do Let's see if we've got any onions so i'm on a roll now so i'm going to see if we've got any onions that's if i can see because every time i bend over my hair just goes straight in my face and i can't see a thing anyway so i know i've got some onions over this side i don't know if they're going to get any bigger i think they might have been they might be done but um yeah i'm just going to leave them i can see them they're on the top they sort of move to the top but I can see them ones, so I won't worry about them. And all of these are spring onions. So I might harvest those and put some more in. 
so I think I'll do that. I'll harvest the spring onions and I'll just thinly sow some more into the bed. So yeah, I've got a lot to do. I can do some re-sowing of stuff and get some more food. Anyway, I replanted my beetroot. I don't know if that's okay to do that, but I've done it anyway because it was all tightly packed together. So I've just replanted all the beetroot and see if they grow on. Um, or do we have to start again? But I have got some more beetroot on the table that I started the other day. So if these don't get any bigger, then... Well, they haven't got any beetroots on them. I mean, they're tiny. But some of them haven't even got any. So I thought, well, we'd plant them back in the bed and see if they grow any bigger. If not, we've got some backups. So there we go. But this mess I need to sort out now. These are the leeks in here. The right mess. They're not very strong looking. And carrots. Chantry. Carrots. Yeah, I should have thinned them out. Because I didn't thin them. I just put them in clumps. Another thing that I did wrong. So next time when I do carrots, I must thin them out. And not grow so much stuff in one bed. So I can actually see what's going on. Anyway. We're, this is all about the learning this year, so you can learn by my mistakes, okay? But still, at least we've got some food to eat. I mean, we could live on that for a while, wouldn't we? So, there we are. Oh, mine is rose, too. So. Mine the rose. Need to turn it round so it's supported. This rose. Hold on. Just need to turn it a bit. Lean it up on this bit of wood. There. Okay, it's a standard bush rose. Yeah, so it's going to get quite big, this rose. Anyway, so let's carry on with our um, harvesting. I'm enjoying this today, but we do have some really ugly vegetables. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Again, everyone, so Sue has been busy, busy, busy this afternoon. So I have taken out all my onions out of this bed and most of the um, poached egg plants. So I'm clearing this bed. This has still got garlic in it. So it's still garlic. I haven't finished clearing it all yet. I took out most of the purslane because it's bolted. I'll leave that one there. And there's another one over there that I've cut right down and I'll leave that one. And then I'm just going to let the garlic grow for a bit. Um... But I'm going to be, I'll pull out the rest of this tomorrow and I'll sort this side of this bed out because there's some carrots in here and I don't think they're ready yet. But I'll see if I can try and sort this out a bit, like um, tidy it up a bit. If not, I'm just going to pull it all out and start again because I need to like learn. That's what I'm doing. So I'm learning how to do things. But I want to show you. The amount of stuff that I got. So, here. So I've got loads and loads and loads and loads of onions. Red and white. They're only sort of smallish, but they're fine. I mean, I can freeze these. And I just keep them. And all the parsnips that I got. And the purslane. I've got a load of purslane there. Um... Oh my god, and beetroot. I got a few beetroot as well, didn't I, out of the other beds. And I've split up them beetroot there, so hopefully they they grow on. I don't know if they will. If they don't, I've actually done some seeds for more beetroot. And today's lesson is that um, the parsnips, I'll be direct sowing them in the bed. So that's what I'm going to do next, is direct sow parsnips. These onions here are looking alright. These are done from seeds. And I'm just going to leave those because we definitely don't need those yet. So we need to go indoors and sort out all of this stuff that I've just um, that I've just harvested from this. Look at that. I have to take a photograph of that. It's just amazing. Look how much stuff there is. That is really heavy. Look at that. All fresh onions grown in our own polytunnel. Oh my god, I am so proud. I know they're not the biggest onions in the world, but just to say that I grew them is just amazing. So I'm really, really, really happy with those. Really happy. It smells amazing in here of onions. Gosh, the smell is amazing. So the next thing to pull up soon, I'll leave the garlic for a couple of weeks, but I did plant it 
in March so it should be and all those poached egg plants in fact everything that was in there the purslane I planted oh when did I plant that see I can see all the labels now so the purslane actually was February so this purslane has been growing in here since February so so it's quite a few months isn't it so it's about time that this and I found a massive slug in here, a ginormous slug. So I'm glad I've cleared this out so I can see the slug. So tomorrow I will get back in here and tidy this all up and tidy this side of the bed up. And yeah, I wasn't planning on doing that today, by the way. But I thought, you know what? I just think that these things are done. And I was right, they were done. These onions came out really, really easy. Well, I didn't have to dig them, I just pulled them out. They were really easy to pull out. So, yeah, and I've split up all them beetroots, so hopefully they will grow. So they're all in individual ones now, instead of all clumped together. Um, lesson to self, make sure that you only grow three beetroot at a time in one place, so that they are not too big. I'm just winding in my cucumber, because I just noticed it was overhanging. So I have to keep an eye on all these things because there was a tomato overhanging earlier which I had to tie in so I'm keeping an eye on these cucumbers making sure they they grow up these strings here which is where they're supposed to go and I keep going in here uh, these little mixed salads are actually growing now when I grow them I put in another lot and they, they seem to be growing this Mizuna this Chinese salad is growing well um, yeah, everything's growing well in the polytunnel. I just like to keep an eye on everything. The leaf chicory here. Uh, the parsley. I keep cutting the parsley and um, I take it indoors and I add it to all the food that we're eating. As well as I do the sage. So there's a lot of sage in there. But anyway, I'm really, really, really happy. So I'm just going to turn around and say goodbye. My hair. I didn't come out prepared with my hair. It's been driving me insane all in my face but I couldn't stop because you know what you know like once you get going in something in the polytunnel or in the garden you just want to carry on don't you you don't want to stop go and get a hair scrunchy and stuff like that you just want to carry on so I couldn't see half the time anyway I'll just turn the camera around so yeah I just yeah my hair was driving me insane <laughs> but I couldn't stop I just had to do this today I don't know why it's a really weird day it keeps raining then it goes dark and then it's light I wasn't planning on doing all this getting these crops out today but I thought you know what I really need to tidy up this part of the garden now because I've done all down that side and I've repotted you know I've redone all the other beds and taken out all them crops I'm gonna have to write down all the crops that I've taken out I've got all the labels so I should remember but I will um, I will do a video about all the crops that I've had in the polytunnel so far and now I've taken these onions, the parsnips out, some beetroot out um, yeah I need to write it down before I forget because um, the peas, we've had mons too, we've had normal peas um, we've had loads, oh the broccoli you know the green sprouting broccoli we had Oh, potatoes, which weren't very many, but still, we still add them. Loads of salad, loads of herbs. Uh, what else have we had out of here? No tomatoes or anything like that yet. Mostly salad crops and stuff like that. Radishes, rocket, loads of stuff. I will write a list and put it up on my... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do a video about it, actually. How much stuff we've had. Rhubarb, strawberries... Yeah, we've had so much stuff. <laughs> anyway, I'm so happy. Oh, I need to put on the aubergines. Yeah, they're getting big in those little pots. Yep, that's something that I need to do. I might order myself some more pots because I still don't think I've got enough pots. I still feel like I need another... God knows how many. Oh, yeah, I've got to do that. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I really need to go away and... <laughs> And uh, I never expected to stay out here this long today. I only came out here to check what was going on. And I've been out here for hours. I just need... Oh, gold. 
Oh god, I put some broccoli on the floor. I just trod on it. I just need to check what's going on with this carrot here. Um, stand up. Don't fall over. Stand up. I need carrots to stay standing up so they don't start looking a complete mess. Anyway, I think that's it. Don't need to do anything else today. <laughs> I need to go now because I'm driving myself insane. I'm just going to lock this back door. Don't need to water anything because it's all watered. Oh, there was a couple of things I needed to water on the table, but I don't know how to adjust the tap to get any water out of it. I have to ask my partner so that I can get a can of water because I noticed a couple of things didn't get watered with the old spray. And I definitely don't think I'm going to water the polytunnel tomorrow. I don't think it needs watering tomorrow. That bed with the onions in was very, very wet. So I don't think... But I do need to water this celery. So I think it's wet underneath. But I need to uh, double check on that tomorrow. And I need to take these bulbs in my cup. I've got one strawberry here. There you go. I might eat that one. I think I deserve it. I'll put it in there. Anyway, I'm just going to take all my produce in now. Then I'm going to do some videos on what to do with it. Okay, so thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. And if there's anything you enjoy about my videos, see, I'm learning from the ground up. So I'm trying to show you everything, even if it doesn't go wrong. Even if it goes wrong, I'm trying to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the ugly vegetables. But who cares if they're ugly? As long as you can eat them, it don't really matter. And I'm not going into any competitions for growing. So it don't really matter as long as we can eat it. But I will be doing a recipe for the parsnips. So, that's it. So, I'll see you again soon. I won't say what day because I'm not going to tell you because I keep missing days. And my videos are very much behind. In fact, the ones before this are going to be quite behind and this one will probably be behind so but I'm putting the dates up because for me it's a reference as to when I came in the polytunnel and what was going on on that date so that when I look back on it I can see what was going on and what I was doing anyway I'll see you again soon bye for now bye